Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Where are you from? I'm from Asbury Park, New Jersey. You're from Jersey. Okay, I'm from New York. So I know all about the 5% God body stuff, right? Watch this. But now, let's talk about King James real quick. Come up, sis. Come up, sis. We ain't going to bite you. What we're going over right now is who we are as a people and how to get out of the conditions we in. We in, we in desolate conditions. We kill each other. We do a lot of evil to each other, sis. You understand? So watch it. Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 1. Bring it out. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Read it again for the brother. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. So why did I bring that up? King James is not a white man. King James was not an oppressor as far as the Bible. What King James did was authorize a new version of the Bible. And hold on, hold on, in English. Right. Because the Caucasians, they were oppressing people with the Bible, with it written in, in Latin and Greek. Right. You understand? So that's all King James did. Hold on. He did not write one verse in this Bible. All King James did, go in the cover. What? Hold on, brother. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Come, I want to try to read something. Come, come. Go to King James, where it says authorized. This one, right? Where does it say? Read it. The Holy Bible containing Old and New Testament and the Apocrypha. Translated. Do what? Translated. No, written. Translated out of the original tongues and with the former translations diligently compared and revised by his majesty's special command. Boom. So that's what King James did, sis. All he did was authorize a new version of the Bible. Now, hold on, 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 hold on. You said Islam means I self, Lord and master. Where you get that from? Colossians 20, where you get that from? Oh, he's all smiling now. He's all smiling now. You know it don't mean that stuff, brother. It means to submit. That's what Islam means, to submit, that's, that's, to submit. That's what it means, it means read. I, the that's, the that's the point, that's the point. That's what. That's the point. For the God body, it means I self, Lord, and master. But where did y'all get that from? But where did you get it from? Where did you get it from? Where did the 5% get it from? That's a man? Claim an X to 13X, right? 13X, Clarence 13X, right? You said Clarence 13. Yeah, he gave us the knowledge. Master Far gave us so the it's from, gave us so, the knowledge. So he gave y'all self, I self, Lord, and Master. You feel what I'm saying? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So is that a man? What? I, Clarence 13X. Yeah, true indeed. That's a man, right? Read. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Hey, the difference, you know. I'm going to show you the man, difference. Man stop, building, brother. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 brother. I'm going to, come back, brother, come back. Young man, young man, come back. I'm going to show you the difference. Then we're going to move on. So, because these people got to know who they are. Read. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Boom. That's a philosophy of man right, and right. a vain What's deceit. That? It's not a philosophy that, of man. It's of God. Like, you, you Let me finish. Let me God, finish. God, Read it again. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. And vain deceit. So a vain deceit is that I'm a god, I'm a five percent, and meanwhile we stuck in the hood. Right. And the gods, they do a lot of evil to each other. Right. Look, matter of fact, matter of fact, back in the '90s, back in the day, if you didn't know your lessons, you get your ass what? Right. Tell me I'm lying. Bring it up. Tell me I'm lying. So how you know I ain't got? How you know I don't have a learning disability? How you know I don't have a learning disability? Tell me. Tell me, I, I would get my ass whooped if I was one of y'all, and I have a learning disability. All the other gods will whoop your ass. That's not of the Lord. That's not righteous. Oh, whoa, whoa, stop, brother. We don't whoop each other's Hey, do we whoop each other's ass? What the hell are you talking about? Hey, is that right, is that right to whoop each other's ass if you don't know your left? That's, brother, that's not right, brother. You got to be, you got to be, you got to, brother, you got to be honest. How? How? What we do? What you? What, what we doing? Are we whooping people's ass? Oh, you ain't let me talk. Let me talk. No, but, 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 no, no, but you made a statement. You made a statement. I'm just going to ask a question. I'm going to let you speak. You said we're intimidating people. Are, are we intimidating you, sis? Are we intimidating you, young man? 
So how are we in the So you lying on us, brother? Nah, well, who are we intimidating? Do you feel threatened? Brother, do you feel threatened? So only you feel threatened, God. I'm not feeling threatened. I'm just saying y'all militant as hell. And you won't let me talk. You said, slow down, slow down. Hold the mic. Hey, slow down, brother. You said you feel intimidated. Oh, we're intimidated. So you tell me, come come closer. Come on, I'm in love. So tell me, bro, who am I intimidating to? Tell me. Tell me. Let me talk. No, no, no. Who am I intimidating to? You tell me. What you mean, your community? Look, y'all out here militant as hell. Uh, uh, is, is she a part of the community? Is she a part of the community? I'm saying, I'm, I'm is, you, is you the young man, to me, right? He is, talking, listen, he's talking is the to young God. man a part of the community? He's talking to the God. Are they a part of the community? Yeah, true indeed. Are they intimidated? Ask him, ask him. So you tell Just. me, you said we intimidated. Yeah, that's what you got on. God. You said we intimidated. Brother, stop, brother, stop. You know, what, you know what you see? You know what you see in front of you, brother? You see real men. That's what you see in front of you. That's what's intimidating right now. And we have the knowledge of God. Not the knowledge, listen. Not the knowledge of Clarence 13X. Okay, because that's a philosophy of man. And you know why that came about? Let me tell you. Let me. Well, I know a little bit about that. You know why, that came, you know why Clarence 13X came about? You know why? Because he did not want to follow the laws of the of the Quran. Hey. That's why y'all are y'all are like renegade gods. Nah. Y'all are renegades. Y'all didn't want to follow Islam nah. uh, to the T like the other mu and all why. So you went and started the God body and all that. No, no, he, he, I'm alright or wrong? Listen, 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 listen. Listen. Am I right or am I wrong? So the Muslim was hiding it? Was Elijah Muhammad hiding it? Was Ma Elijah Muhammad was hiding it? Oh, you in trouble now. Read it again. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Bring it out. Beware lest any man spoil you. So we're spoiled in the ghettos of America because we believe on different philosophies outside of God. Outside of who you are. Outside of all that. If you can see your son, watch this. Guess what? The brother knows he's a God. We know we're God. But there's a problem. Bring it out. Watch what the Bible says. Come close. We ain't got to go so far away. Does it, does it work? Yeah, it works. Read. Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, ye are God. Oh, oh, oh. The prophet said a lot of that stuff right there. Yeah, God, God body. You know what I'm saying? The prophet said, look, he laughed. He know. Peace, God, all of that, right? Watch what the, hey, what does the next verse say? What the, what the verse after that say? Yeah. No, no. After that scripture right there, the next scripture, what is it? What does it say? Watch what God says about you. Read it again from the top. Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, ye are God. Young man, you are a God on this earth, bro. Yes, My brother, what's your name, bro? I'm Abu. You are a God on this earth. That's, That's what right. we know. You sisters are princesses of God on this earth. That's right. And guess what we got to do, y'all? We got to conduct ourselves as such. That's right. You understand? Think about it. What we doing out here in the ghettos every night? Gunshots going off. And then another baby mama, baby daddy's made. Somebody's using some drugs, some prostitution going on around here. Y'all know what we do. But God says, you're better than that. Read. I have said, you are God. And all of you are children of the most high. Read. But. Uh-oh. This is what the father said and don't know. But what? But you shall die like me. You're going to die like a man. The cop gonna shoot you down. Right, no, right. the nigga gonna nature, pop his bro. gun at you. Why? That's nature. That's why? That's why? Why? Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. Listen, listen. And we got 85% listen. of people that come and drive. Listen, you know, listen. Let me get the question out first. Tell me why God said you're a God, but you're gonna die like a man. Tell me why. No, you're God. Gods don't die. Right. Gods don't die, bro. Right. Gods don't. That's right. Hold that, John 851. No, we ain't no demi demigod. We ain't no half angel. No, we gods. Yes, right. Gods, brother. That's right. John 851. Watch what Christ says. You believe on Christ? You believe on Christ? You believe on Christ? Yes. Not, not the white boy. I mean, the black man that look like you. Right. Do you believe on that? Do you believe on Christ? Not no poor white teachers, the Messiah. John chapter 8 and verse 51. Verily, verily, I say unto you. Unto you, Abu. If a man keep my saying. If you do what God says to do, Abu. 
he shall never see death. Oh, oh man, you you was wrong on that one, Abu. Read it out. Now let's read it again. Now read it again. Psalm chapter 82 and verse 6. I'm going to give you some logic. Read it out. I have said, ye are God. My sister, have you heard this before? You heard that before, right? We are gods on the earth. Right, that's what God said, right? To the earth, to the earth. And all of you are children of the Most High. Read. But you shall die like men. But you're gonna die like a man, Abu. Why? And fall like one of the princes. You're a prince, but you're gonna die like a regular man. You know why, Abu? Go back to John 8:51. You don't keep the sayings of Christ. Bring it out. Don't do the commandments of Christ. That's why you're gonna die. Right. Right. The wages of sin is what? Yeah. Death. That's why you got the ten commandments. That's right, my sister. Come back, sis. Come back. I got a scripture for you. Come back. Come back. Come back. You heard that before, yeah. sis? The wages of sin is death. You heard that? Sure. You heard that, right? You heard that, right? You ever heard that? Okay, I'm going to give you the scripture. Romans 8. Romans 6. Watch what God said. So now 5% of us, it ain't done nothing for us. Right. We got to change our minds back to what God said. That's right. The book of Romans, chapter 6, and verse 23. Bring it out. No, knowledge of what? Self. What does that mean? Tell, tell me what that means. Knowledge of self. What does it mean? Where I am. Where I come from. Where you come from? What I stand for. Righteousness. So you stand for righteousness? Or what so we? I'm a West Indian too. So you're really, you ain't no damn God, but you really from the tribe of Benjamin. Hey, you really are. You ain't no damn God, buddy. I just told the guy, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel yeah, yeah. Judah, you feel no, 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 no. Look, 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 look. Judah doesn't have 12 tribes. Look, look at the sign. Judah doesn't have 12 tribes. Israel has 12 tribes. That's right. 12 tribes of Judah. You're from the tribe of Benjamin. You understand? Now read the, read the Bible. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. Bring it up. For the wages of sin is death. My sister, what's your name? Rhea. Rhea? So, and. Nia. And Nia? No, Nia. Nia. Nia and say it again. Rhea. Rhea and Nia. Watch. Watch what the Bible says one more time. Read it again. For the wages of sin is death. So the Bible says the wages of sin is death. So, if we didn't give a damn about y'all, would we let y'all go about y'all business or would we tell you your sin? What do you think we should do? If the wage of sin is death, should I tell you what your sin is so you can fix it, or should I just leave you alone? What do you think I should do? Y'all gonna tell us so you can be on a better path. Say, say it one more time. Say, say so they can hear you. Say so they can hear you. Y'all gonna tell us so we can be on a better path. You agree with that, my sister? Because our job out here is to tell you where you're going off at according to God, not according to us. Our opinions don't mean crap. Right. right. It's what God says. That's right. right. Deuteronomy 22 o'clock. So now, let's read what, what God says. Deuteronomy 22. Watch, watch what the Bible says. So, bro, you're an Israelite. You got to stop it. You got to come out of that, bro. You got to come out. Come on. That's Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Bring it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So God says the woman. He started with our sisters. They should not wear what pertains to men. Let's keep reading. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So let's start with the man. The man's not supposed to wear a woman's garment. What are women's garments men should not be wearing? Dresses. Rhea. Dresses. What else, sis? Um, undergarments. Like, like, like panties, bra. What else, my brother? What should men not be wearing that pertains to women? What else? High heels, right? Pocketbook. Those wigs, are makeup. wigs, makeup, all that stuff like the, the transsexuals wear, right? They should not be doing that thing. Yeah, so what do we call it back? Human, and I'll ask Jersey. Abu, what do we call that back in Jersey so. when a man is dressed like a woman? What do we call it? Because we let us see. Cross. Cross-dressing. Cross-dressing, right? So can we agree that that's cross-dressing? Right, my sister, that's cross-dressing, right? Okay. So the man that's wearing and dressing like a woman, he's cross-dressing. Let's go back to the top. Deuteronomy, chapter 22, listen, and listen, verse listen. 5. Abu, 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 listen, listen. Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Abu, Abu, listen, listen, read the kid. I want you to hear this. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. So now we dealt with the man. Now let's deal with our sisters. When a woman is dressed as a man, what name? Name some articles, articles of clothing that a woman is not supposed to wear because they pertain to men. Real. You just said pants. I don't know. Pants. Pants. Yeah, I know he know. I know he know. Right? 
pants. Sister, a woman is not supposed to be wearing pants. Pants were created for the men. That's right. right. That's right? right. Not the sisters. That pertains to men. Think about it. You go in the bathroom, right? The bathroom, how do you identify the bathroom when it got two signs? Which one you going? The one with the, the, the legs out, like that, or the one with the skirt? The one that looks that's, that's shaped like a skirt. Which one you going? Why are you going the one with the skirt? Look what you got on. Look at that. You understand? That pertains to men. Pants pertain to men. So we need to get from the top. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Bring it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Read. For all that do so. Stop. So all that do so. So the man that wears dresses and the sister that wears the uh, pants. For all. Hold on, said, Abu. Abu, hold on. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy so God. right now, some of y'all are, are abominable. But guess what you could do, sis? Uh, Nia, right? Nia? But guess what you could do, my sister? You could change. That's right. That's right. That's what it's all about. That's the right. Bible is all about change. Hold on, hold on, Abu. We're living a wicked life. Now we stop living a wicked life and come to God. You understand that, uh, sis? Like, we know what the right thing to do. Say it again. Say it again, sis. I want you to say it again. That's their understanding of their book. Come close. Come close. I'm not going to bite you. I want you to say that loud. That's not my understanding. Say that a little louder, please. I like that thing. I you say, say not that it's not it's not logical, it's just we don't want to do the right thing. We just don't want to do the right <laughs> thing. Thank you. Why can't our people be honest like like uh, real? Because I know about this. Like I already claim myself as a Hebrew Israelite. Like, I know how I'm supposed to live. I just know I need to do the right thing. Like, okay. So, so what can we do? Okay. So my sister knows it. You know we be teaching the truth, right? Yeah. So what can we do to help you? What is it gonna take? Is it you know, well, we I just told him that I, I couldn't find a congregation for a long time, and he Guess just told what? me. So. We five minutes away. We got 400 yeah. brothers and sisters going to meet up. I say Decatur. Yes, you right. know what I said? Yeah. We got 400 brothers right now in a big-ass school right on 85. Come through. Yeah, you you were all me. invited to come through and see how we do it. Yeah, you right. understand? Because guess what? Sis, you can't do this on your own. He can't do this on his own. He, she can't do I can't do it on my own. Right. We all need each other. Stepping out to him. That's what God says, sis. You understand? So guess what? In order to live a better life, you got to keep the commandments. And one commandment is you got to congregate. You got to come right. around and be around like-minded brothers and sisters. Because guess what? Once you know this truth, nobody's going to exhort you. They're not going to want to be around you like that. Who you got? You got your brothers and sisters in the truth. Right. Right. You understand? Read. Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it out. Right. Gather yourselves together. Read. Yay. Gather together. No, 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 no. Come back, Abu. Come on. Come back, Abu. Gather together, O oh, nation, not desire. Oh, That's what I'm saying. Oh, Neil, are we desired in, in America? Are we desired like, like other nations want to live around us? You think other nations want to live around us? So why they pack us on in the ghettos by ourselves? And raise the taxes in certain communities and, and gentrify a community. That way you gotta move out into a poor community. If they wanna be around us, why is that? You really think they want to Okay. Um I mean from my personal opinion, I would say you eliminate power, you gotta suppress it. it. Say that none of don't 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 pay up a boo. Okay. It just left my mind with six Damn, I boo. Come on, I boo. You just messed her up. You just messed her up, I boo. Yeah, you know I'm right, though. Hold on. You know I'm right. Right. Now, chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it out. Gather yourselves together. So God said we must gather together. Let's even talk about everybody. Yay. Gather together, uh -huh. O nation, not desire. Everyone. O nation, not desire. Desire. No, everyone on the planet of God to gather together. Oh, nation, not desire. See what the Bible says, sis? We must gather together. We're that nation that no other nation wants to be around, exploits and oppresses. You understand it, young man? All the other nations exploit and oppress black people. That's right. That's a fact, bro, no matter where we at in the world. You understand? So God said, we must gather together. But can we gather together in our sin? You think so? Can we gather together in our sin? What do you think? Think about it, sis. I'm a, I'm a thief. Can I gather with you? You trying to be righteous and I'm a thief? Or I'm a liar? 
you, are you going to gather with me if I'm a liar? How are you going to trust me? Yeah. You understand? How can you trust me if we don't come together under the laws of God? Right. Nothing's going to stop me from doing evil to you if we gather together not under the laws of God. What's going to stop me? If I have no fear of God, what is going to stop me from doing some evil to you, you or your children or something like that? What's going to stop me? You tell me. I'm all about knowledge and I feel like... If you try to teach someone the right way, because I do this a lot, I try to teach people, and if I realize that I can't teach them and they're not changing anything, then at least I know that I try. So that's how teach I what? What you want to teach? Um, about anything with life, like my little brothers or my cousins. If I see them going wrong and I try to guide them the right way, if it's something so. Now, you know what my sister said? If I see them doing wrong, I try to guide them in the right way. But what if you're doing wrong too? You see the problem? You gotta be the example first. You gotta, you gotta now keep the laws of God first. Then you can go and teach. Because without that, what is it called? If you're, if you're teaching something that you ain't doing, what's it called? Something else. Because it's the letter H. H Y. Say it again. That's hypocritical. Watch your back. Watch your back. Watch your back. That's hypocritical. You understand? So we gotta be better than that. Read it again. Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it up. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. So, Rhea, Rhea, right? We're that, you already know, we're that nation, not desire. What is a nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, his word, his word.